<sighs> well, I'm back. Today on this episode, or whatever you want to call it, I'm going to be showing you how I quilted the T-Quilts Block Swap Project. Since this quilt is all scraps and has all different fabrics and no two fabrics in this quilt are alike, I wanted to do something where the quilting would blend in and the names would stick out and also I could see the fabrics under it that the quilting wouldn't show too much. So what I decided to do was I decided to do a sharp stipple um, through all of that and around the, around the white, I did a serpentine line just to set the white squares with the names in it off. Um, also to stabilize the stitching around there. So this is what I decided to do. A sharp, stipply line all around there. You get your texture, but you can still see all the wonderful fabrics. And here is Miss T, the uh, organizer, and Kevin's back here, the two organizers of the group. And I just did a, a serpentine line all around. And then I started here from the corner and did these wavy lines. <clears throat> now that I've shown you what I've done, I'm going to cut the machine on and we're gonna, I'm gonna stitch one of these blocks out. All right, everyone, here we go with the sharp stipple. Just sort of making a curvy line. Just going wherever. one of the blocks done I'm gonna you can see here when the machine's not on it you just see the texture and the thread sort of blends in but you can still see all the beautiful fabrics that everybody used in this quilt okay I just finished quilting the last four blocks of this scrap quilt and um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the quilt onto the roller and be back up at the top again so I can start on the sashing. I have my bars on the lot. I'm going to roll this quilt bar here, this bar. See, now if I would have this bar up here, this bar would start to get thick and it wouldn't be level so I could have skip stitches but with this I can have a pretty big quilt on here and not have to worry with it. Okay everyone. I've changed the thread color. Now I am going to turn on my computer as you can see I have done so here and I'm going to use the channel lock feature on my QCT and I'm going to let the computer stitch the straight lines. Now, since this is a scrappy quilt, the blocks 
are not completely square, which is great because that adds to the effect. So if the line's a little crooked, well, that's just too bad. All right, I'm gonna mark the middle of my strip here, and then I'm just gonna push the machine over to here. All right, I'm going to hit over here on my machine pull bobbin, and it's going to stitch across. And then I'm going to let the camera roll and I have other work to do. So and we're at 14 stitches per inch. And it quilts. If your machine does not have the computer on it, you can still do this. Um, if you're on a long arm, just sort of push the machine and that should give you a straight line. Um, if you're doing this on your domestic, you can use your walking foot. Um, it's pretty universal. see it's a little smaller here uh, and I'm going to repeat the same process quilting the double horizontal or vertical horizontal anyway I'm going to continue quilting the lines across to create a spaced out cross hatching in between so uh, and then I'm done so let's finish this quilt out 